guys, today we're going to be doing some St. Patrick's Day looks and that is not something that I really had planned to do at all but I decided to ask you guys on my community page if you wanted to see that and like 70% of you said yes and I was pretty surprised so that's what we're going to be doing today and I also did receive my Colourpop palette, the uh, Just My Luck palette today but I'm not going to use that in this video because you guys wanted me to do a 3 looks 1 palette with that as well so there's gonna be a lot of green on my channel coming up and I hope you're happy about that because you pretty much chose it. So today we're gonna to be doing, I guess, I guess I'll do two looks for St. Patrick's Day. So basically I want to work with some greens and some oranges, maybe some white and gold and that's pretty much going to be the color theme of today. And I have some palettes in front of me, I'm not really sure what I want to do yet. So yeah, I'm just gonna start off by priming my eyes and as you can see they are pretty stained. I have a lot of pink left on my eye from yesterday's makeup with the Riviera palette so yeah that thing really really stained so we're gonna have to cover that up so I'm gonna use my MAC paint pot as always. So I'm basically gonna do two looks back to back now because I realized that St. Patrick's Day is in two days and I need to edit this so I can get it up tomorrow so yeah the day that you see this will be the day after I filmed it so yeah, I'm gonna have to just take this off after and do another look. So I'm gonna start off with my easiest look because it's going to be easier to remove. And I will show you how I take off just my eye makeup too if you've been like curious about that because I've had some people ask me. So I'll show you when I'm done with this look and just kind of let you know how I do that if I want to do multiple looks after another. So I have never actually celebrated St. Patrick's Day, so I don't really know like what the extent of celebration is like. All I really know about St. Patrick's Day is that it originated in Ireland and they wear a lot of green and there's pots of gold and that's pretty much it, so... <laughs> I think there's a lot of drinking involved too, but other than that I'm pretty blank, so I'm kind of just going into this knowing like the color scheme, what to work with, and if you want to tell me a little bit about St. Patrick's Day, do you celebrate it, what do you do, leave it down below, I'd love to read about it because I literally have no idea. So for this look, I want to do a smoky eye, but I want to do like an orange crease with a blue shimmer on... What am I saying? Blue? Green. With a green shimmer on the lid. So the palette that I want to start off with is the Tri Palette by Juvie's Place. And I'm going to take this orange here, and then I'm going to go in and deepen this up with another orange afterwards. But let's just start off by packing this all over my crease. And as you can see, I got a new mirror because my black one... Uh, kind of fell while I was doing one of the 10 looks with the Riviera palette and the mirror part like fell out of the packaging so I wasn't able to fix that so I had to buy a new one. So I'm gonna pull the shadow up pretty high almost up to my brow because I am going in with another shade to deepen this up with. So this is basically going to be my transition shade. So this is like I said going to be the easiest out of the two looks and I kind of want to do like some kind of a full cut crease or something in the second look because I haven't done that in forever so maybe I will do that maybe I won't do that but I definitely want this look to be the easiest and if you want to recreate any of the looks that I do for some reason don't feel like you have to use the same products that I'm using because it's pretty easy to find oranges and greens so I mean just use what you have in your collection I feel like that's pretty obvious but some people really like to use the same products that are used in tutorials but I really don't feel like you have to so I don't know if I want to pull this down to my lower lash line yet. I'm gonna have a think about that and just put in my crease color here first. All right, so to deepen this up, I'm going to use my Olimar Cosmetics palette and I'm gonna take the shadow right here, which is a very, very warm, kind of dark orange. And I'm going to use that to deepen up. Wow, that is so pigmented. I have not used this palette in so long. Wow, okay, so we're going to be deepening, deepening up this crease with this color. That is so beautiful. So I feel like this is looking pretty nice, and I think for my lid, like I said, I want to go in with a... I don't even know if I said that, but I want to go in with a kind of dark green shimmer. And again, I'm going to use the one in the Tri Palette, and I want to use this one right here, because this is such a beautiful shadow. So I think what I'm going to do is... I don't know if I want to spray this. Maybe I'll actually use my finger for like the first time in my life <gasps> just to kind of avoid any fallout. So let me just like press this on most of my lid here. I'm gonna go in and blend this into my crease after, but I wanna just get like the base of this down. And I never do that. I really don't like the feeling of putting eyeshadows on my eyes with my fingers because I'm so scared I'm gonna mess up. Cause I don't feel like I have much control at all. And I also actually get more fallout when I do this because now I have specks of shadow all over my face. Maybe I'm just like 
too heavy handed when I dip my finger into the shadow. I don't know, but I just don't have very good luck using my fingers to apply makeup, but let's try this again. So I'm going to take a smudging brush, which kind of looks like this. It's sort of flat, but it's also kind of thick and fluffy at the same time. So I'm gonna take some more of that shadow on here now, and I'm gonna start running this right where I want the blend to be. And I'm trying to not swipe and just kind of pat and drag so I don't get too much fallout. So this is looking to be blending in pretty nicely. So I kind of feel like I should pull some green down to my lower lash line. So I'm first going to take San or San and I'm going to put that closest to my lash line. And then I'm going to go in with this shadow right here, which is called Tootsie. And I'm going to use that to blend out this color down here. So I'm first taking that darkest shade and I'm going to put that closest to my lower lash line. And then on my Sigma E36 brush, I'm going to blend this out. This is Tootsie, the uh, lighter of the green shades. So I like how nice and grungy this is looking. So what should I do next? I think I want to put some gold into my inner corner. So I did pull out my little ColourPop Make Up Your Mind palette. So I thought I would use this because this is actually one of the best golds I have in my collection. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of that right into my inner corner and you can see the lid shade is pretty much a dupe for this one right here. So if you want to recreate something similar, this palette right here is amazing. So let's try without spraying this first because I really feel like I don't need to because the shadow is just so good, wow. Like I knew the shadow was good because I've swatched it, but I don't know if I actually used it on my eyes before. But that is so stunning, oh my god. So I feel like the only thing that is missing in this look is some kind of white, but I don't really have any white that I can incorporate in this, I don't think. Maybe I'll do white in my waterline, maybe that could be an idea. I think I'm going to take a bit more of that first orange shade from the Tri Palette and I just want to run that through my crease just one last time to make sure that the shimmer shade is blended out. But I don't want it to get too muddy, I just want to kind of run my brush over that one last time. So I think this is going to be the completed look eyeshadow wise, so let's put some white in my waterline now. And I'm going to use my retractable pencil from NYX. And then for this look, I'm just gonna put on some liner and mascara and then I will be right back. And I don't know if I want to do like a green lipstick or if I want this look to be the more wearable look. So I'm gonna think about that and I'm gonna pick out a lipstick and then I'll be back and I'll tell you what I chose and I will have my eyes done. So I'll be right back. All right, so this is the eyes all done. I think I'm going to go, whoa, with green for lipstick just because I can. So I'm gonna use my Crocodile Tears that I got in my, uh, Jeffree Star unboxing or mystery box unboxing, mystery box, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to pop this on and I did have a little bit of a mascara smudge here. So I'm kind of waiting for that to dry so I can scrape this off. But let's see how this looks with the eyes. I think that is going to work. The amount of times that I put on lipstick and then I realized that I've been covering it with the mirror the whole time. Can't begin to count because it always happens because I feel like I need to be this close to the mirror to be able to put on lipstick. So. This is going to be the completed look number one. Now let me get rid of that mascara smudge. So I'm just taking a spoolie on the back of my eyebrow pen. I'm just kind of rubbing that against it. All right, so this is going to be the completed look. I like this. I don't feel like it's super St. Patrick's Day, but it's still more like the wearable St. Patrick's Day kind of thing, even though I have on a green lipstick and not everybody likes that. I'm also actually wearing a green highlighter, but I don't know how I feel about it. And I'm wearing the one from the Calvin the Alchemist palette. Alchemy, Alchemist, Alchemist, right? Yeah, this thing has faded so much that I don't even know what it says anymore, but I think it's called the Alchemist palette. So I'm wearing this green duochrome here as my highlighter, but it's a little bit too icy and I had to kind of diffuse it because it was a bit much. So not sure how I feel about that, but I'm going to take some pictures of this look now and then I'm going to show you how to take this off without having to remove the whole face. All right, I'm back. So I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe that's a little bit dirty because I was swatching some stuff earlier, but I'm basically just going to wrap my finger in this right now. And then I always start off by just running this right underneath my brow. And then I'm going down onto my lid and taking off the rest of the color as well. 
and this is going to look quite messy but I really try to not take off more makeup than I have to because I'm not going to do my brows or my base all over again just to do another eye look so I'm gonna start kind of scrubbing on the mascara now I'm being pretty gentle though so I might it might look a little bit harsher than it actually is so you can see it's looking kind of crazy but as long as I just keep it in this area I am going to go in with concealer and stuff after so it's like not really that big of a deal I'm sure I'm making the weirdest faces when doing this but that's just funny though, you know? The hardest part to take off is definitely the mascara, so sometimes I do have a little bit of mascara left when I do start my next look, but oh well. So it's starting to come off now, and this is probably going to be as good as I'm going to get it. So you can tell I didn't really screw up too much of my makeup, like most of everything from here and down is looking good. So I'm going to take off this eye now and then I'm going to show you how I kind of fix this before I move on. Alright, so this is where we are at right now. It's looking quite messy. I'm not going to take my lipstick off because I feel like there's a chance I might just use this for the second look too. So I'm going to take some of my Too Faced concealer now and just put this underneath my eye. And also a little bit on my nose. And then I'm just going to blend this out, but I always make sure to kind of pat it in and not drag it down too much because obviously I have powder on down there, so it's not going to lay as nicely on top. And I always kind of bring it all the way out here because I definitely removed some of the product that I had out there as well. And then I'm going in to remove some of the excess on my brush because I don't need too much concealer and I'm just tapping over that little sharp edge here. Then it is time for some powder. So I'm going to take my Revlon Photo Ready powder which is the one I've been using a lot lately and I really like this powder. And I'm just going to go in and set this concealer everywhere. So you can see it's looking a little bit rough here, so I'm also going to go in with my bronzer. And I have been using the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster Palette. I got this the other day at Walgreens and I kind of like it, but the packaging is so bad. Like, look at this. I can't open it more than this much before like the thing inside kind of pops out and it's like, come on, like this is just stupid. Like it doesn't bend back any further. So I hate the packaging, but I love the product. So I'm taking the bronzer part now and I'm just going to kind of go over especially on top here where the blend isn't looking the greatest and you sure by the time I'm done kind of touching up all of this you can't even see that I did two looks so this is what I usually do in between like my 10 look videos if I'm filming two or three looks at the same time I will usually just repeat these steps and then I'm sure you can't really tell in the videos which looks I've done in the same day so that's you know kind of the whole point so this is looking pretty good now. And I also need to refresh my blush and my highlight, so I'm taking my 8W palette by Morphe and I'll be using these two. So first this one, then going in with this one. And then for highlighter in this look, I kind of want to change and I want to try to use this shadow in the Juvia's Place instead because this is also kind of like a green highlighter but it's got a bit of a gold shift to it. And I'm going to just use an eyeshadow brush for this because, I don't know, sometimes I like just using eyeshadow brushes to apply my highlight because I find I can be a lot more precise with it. Especially if I'm using like a crazy color because it won't get everywhere and I won't overdo it. So I feel like this is a better tone for me as a highlight for like a colored highlight. And then I'm just taking my blush brush again, just kind of running this over. All right, so it is time for look number two. And of course we need to prime the eyes because this is looking kind of ridiculous. And I have no idea what I want to do with this look, like absolutely no idea at all. All I know is I kind of want to have more fun with this and maybe use some crazy liners, maybe use some glitter, maybe do a cut crease, maybe just, you know, do all the things. All right, we are good to go again. So I think for this look, I want to use the Polina and Blush Dry Palette. And I'm first going to go in with this shadow right here in my crease. And then I think I'm going to blend it out using Friends, I think. 
let's start off taking humble though. And I think I want this look to not have any orange in it because when I think of St. Patrick's Day, I think of just green and gold. So I think that's what I want to do. I might throw in some white in there as well, but I haven't really decided. So we're just gonna kind of have to wing this and see how it goes. So let me start off by putting this in my crease and this brush is way too big, but oh well. So I'm just gonna pull this all the way from inner to outer. And as always, I do bring the shadow quite high up and I guess I'm not going to have any room to blend this out with the other shadow after because I already brought it up too high. But since I am probably going to do like a full cut crease, I don't mind having the shadow up high and I kind of have to because when I cut my crease, the crease is going to be cut so high up anyway because I need it to be above the hood of my eye. So you can already see I need to cut my crease at least up to here. So I'm not going to have a lot of room anyway. And I think I'm going to stop this right where my eyebrow ends. Honestly, I really have no idea what I want to do with this look. I just want it to be cool, you know? Sometimes you just want to do a cool look. Okay, let's go ahead and cut the crease now. And then I still have no idea what I'm doing for the rest of the look. But all I know is I want to do a full cut crease. So I'm going to use my peel away space. And so what I want to start with is I want to kind of map out where I want to cut the crease up here. So I'm going to cut out a lot of this last part here. I'm going to start it where the end of my eyebrow is and I'm going to just go down like this. And then I'm going to do a full cut crease going from all the way to the inside to the outside. So I'm going to look up and I will be cutting my crease higher up than where the transfer shows, but I like to just kind of have that guideline to sort of start off and I know I need to at least go that high. So how I know exactly where to cut it, you can see when my eye is open that I can still not see like the concealer above the hood of my eye, which means I need to go higher. And I do have to cut my crease a lot higher than most people would. And sometimes I think to myself like, wow, this is going to look ridiculous. But then when it's done, it actually kind of looks like it made sense. And that I kind of cheated my crease to be higher than it is. So it's starting to get there. And now I need to just go a little bit higher, like right in the middle here. So it's going to look a bit like this. Now I'm going to try to make this all even and pat this out and then do the same thing on the other eye and then I will be right back. Okay, so the crease is cut and you didn't see the part where I set the base with my Wet n Wild Creme Brulee because I didn't know what I wanted to do and it kept creasing on me and I was like, I'll probably put some, something on top of this anyways, I'm just going to set it. So I think I want to just work on my lower lash line because I don't know what I want to do on my lid yet. I've kind of been looking around in my collection and I'm like, I just, I don't really know. So for my lower lashes, I think, or for my lower lash line, I think I'm going to go in with Tootsie again from the Tri Palette. And I'm going to take this on a very, very flat, thin ColourPop brush. This is the E11. And I'm going to kind of make a wing out here. And I'm going to pull this out pretty far and I think I don't want to use a wing on my lid. I haven't really decided. I think I just want to kind of smoke this out. So maybe I'll bring this out really far. I mean, that's almost even. All right, I'm switching over to a fluffier brush now and I'm really going to pack this onto my lower lash line. And I'm putting very heavy focus on the outer part here. So this is looking quite intense and I think I like it, even though I still have no idea where I'm going with this really. <laughs> oh, I love doing looks like this where I'm like, just take it one step at a time and then hopefully it will come together in the end. So I feel like I want to put something on my lid, but I don't exactly know what. So what if I just take a bit of gold and I put that on like the first half of my eye and I also have these little gold stars that I want to use. These are from MAC and they're silver stars and gold stars and I thought maybe if I put like two silver stars like right in between here like that could be kind of cool or even gold stars. I'm not sure. Maybe I should use gold. Maybe I just want to take a gold shimmer. So I'll take the same gold shimmer that I used in the color pop palette in the first look and I am going to spray it this time because I want to be a little bit more precise. So I'm going to put that on like the first half of my lid or so where I cut my crease. I 
I guess I'll bring it out a little bit further because that is just what my brush wanted me to do. You know, sometimes you just like start something and it gets a little bit out of hand and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's kind of what happened now. So I don't know how far out I want to take this. Maybe I just want to take it all the way out and kind of just fade it out after I get out there. Let's try that. Let's just put this all over my lid. Okay, no idea how I want to do this. I'm going to wipe off my brush so that I don't have any more product on it and then I'm just going to sort of drag this out and take a little bit of the product with me just to sort of make it look seamless. And I don't think I want to pull this out like all the way because obviously that's going to look a bit weird with the angle that I have here. So I might just leave it like this. So I also have an idea which I feel like this look is going to get out of hand really quick. And what I want to do is I want to take the liquid lipstick that I'm wearing and I want to draw a line like right on top of the uh, light green. I don't think I want to connect it to the lid or anything. Or maybe I will just do like a very very thin line on top here and then follow it out all the way. Maybe I should try that but I feel like these are not even enough that it'll be able to look good. I don't know, I feel like it might work. I think I'm going to start by just lining the top of where this line is. And I'm gonna use a tiny, tiny little paintbrush. I got these on Amazon and I feel like this will be a good way to do this. But who knows, because this could easily mess everything up. And if it does, I'm so sorry, but I'm not going to do another look after this. So let me just hold my breath and kind of try to line this line on top of the green. I need to just make this into an eyeliner because I'm having a hard time like making it look smooth here where the line of my hood is in the way so I feel like I'm just going to trace my upper lash line with this as well. I'm sorry this look is all over the place and I have no plan whatsoever but that's how I do my makeup. Alright so now that the wing is done I think maybe I need to put a little bit more just right here. So it's actually looking quite even which is tough to do. Alright, so I think what I want to do next is I want to put two of these stars right in between where like the... What do I call this? Where the cut crease is ends with my wing? I don't know. So I'm going to pick out two of these gold stars so I can put these on each side. And to put these on I'm going to use some lash glue and my nail art tool because this thing right here will easily pick them up and it'll be easier to place them. So let me first put down a little bit of glue so let's do one right here. Watch these not be even at all. Wow, I think they are actually decently even. I mean, these could have been a little further out, but looking at them, not mad at it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just finish up the rest of my eyes. I guess I will just do some liner and mascara. Do I want to do something in my waterline? Maybe I'll do yellow in my waterline. Let's do yellow. So I'm going to use my ColourPop Punch Liquid Liner or Liquid Liner? No, liner. I'm going to use my Punch Liner. And I am just all over the place today for some reason. And I feel like since I did yellow in my waterline, I need to put on my yellow color from mascara as well. So I'm going to put on my Bad Girl Bang on top and then my yellow on the bottom and then I will be right back. So here is the final look of look number two. Here is the completed look, if you will. I really like this look. I think this really came together with the mascara and I feel that way about every single look that I do since I don't wear falsies. I feel like whenever I put on mascara, it really just like pulls the look together. So. I am really happy about this actually. I'm so much more happy about this than I thought I was going to be and it's very different from anything that I've ever really done before. So yeah, I like this a lot. Let me know if you have any plans for St. Patrick's Day. I know this video is going up the day before because today is now officially two days before St. Patrick's Day. So yeah, let me know if you have any fun plans and what you plan on doing and what your traditions are. If you have any, let me know what kind of makeup you're going to wear. Do you have any typical St. Patrick's Day makeup or anything that you do when you do celebrate St. Patrick's Day or if you're just staying home, are you still going to be doing green makeup? Because 
why wouldn't you? You know, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to like pretend to be celebrating holidays that you don't really celebrate. At least I think so. So yeah, any excuse I have to put on some fun makeup that I normally wouldn't have, I am so here for it. So yeah, that will sum up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider it. So <laughs> I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye.